Welcome, Lower Elementary, to episode number 22! For today's video, you're going to need your water bottle, five socks, and a laundry basket. Press the pause button to gather your materials and come back when you're ready for the warm-up. All right, Lower Elementary, we are going to warm up with a game called Weather Burst. And we're gonna do five different movements with five different types of weather. And we're gonna start with dance like a snowflake. So spread your feet wide, bring your arms up like this so we kinda of look like an X. And now we're in a snowflake. Let's put on some music and let's dance like a snowflake. Our next movement is going to be to fall like a raindrop. And remember, let's be safe and let's fall safely. Make sure you have a space to fall in safely. So we're going to get like a tall like a raindrop and then we're going to fall. Let's do that again. Tall like a raindrop and fall. One more time. Fall like a raindrop and fall. All right, our third move is we're gonna move like the wind. So we're gonna get in this ready position. We're gonna move like the wind. And you can even make some wind noises. Fourth movement is we are gonna shine like the sun. So we're going to pretend like we're the sun behind the mountains. So get down nice and low. And then we're gonna start to rise. And then we're gonna shine like the sun. And then we're gonna fall back behind the mountains. Sunrise. And sunset. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, and sunset. One more time, the sun is going to rise, wow, we have 24 hours of the most beautiful day, and then the sun sets, and we're so grateful that we had an amazing day. All right, the fifth and final movement is going to be to jump like a thunderclap. So what we're gonna to try to do is jump in the air and clap our hands overhead like the thunder. Are you ready? So we're gonna get in this ready position. So arms back, reach your butt back, and then we're gonna jump and clap like a thunderclap. Let's try that again. Ready? Jump like a thunderclap. Here we go. Ready? Jump like a thunderclap. Let's do another one. Ready? Jump like a thunderclap. All right, last one. I want you to jump as high as you can. Here we go. Ready? Jump like a thunderclap. Great job, Laura. We're meant to get a drink of water and then come back and be ready for the riddle of the day.
this week's riddle. What is the coolest and most awesomest of all the vegetables? The answer is coming up at the end of class. All right, it's time for laundry law. We've got our five dirty socks on the ground. And we're gonna try to lob these socks into our basket. Now, I'm using a small trash can because I wanted a challenge. I didn't want it to be too easy. I'm recommending to you that you use a bigger laundry basket, but you get to decide where you wanna shoot your laundry. Now, the objective is to try to make all five of your socks into the basket. Here's the rules. Before you can try to lob the sock into the basket, you've got to do five heel touches. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Then, using your feet only, you're going to put the sock on top of your foot and then you're going to try to lob it in. No big deal if you miss, just go to the next sock. One, two, three, four, five and then try to lob it in. Ah, oh, almost. One, two, three, four, five. And then lob it in, all right? So, so far I haven't gotten any and that's okay. We're gonna see how many points we can score in one minute. All right, so if you want time to practice and to get set up, just press the pause button. Otherwise, we are gonna start in 10 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Here we go. you have to do five shoulder taps. It looks like this. So we get into the top of the push-up position or high plank, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna hop back up. And then again, using your feet only, try to lob the sock into the basket. All right, get ready. Hopefully I can score some points this time. One minute on the clock, we'll put on some music. On your mark, get set, go! Five shoulder steps.
All right, time is up. I got one point that time, yes. All right. Now, for round number three, set your socks back up. We got one more round. This sure is a fun way to get some exercise. Now for round number three, in order to earn a laundry lob, you've got to do five heel clicks. What that looks like is you bend your knees, you're gonna jump in the air and tap your feet together. You don't have to jump very high, just a little jump and tap your feet together. Do five of those and then you get to earn a laundry lob. All right, we get one minute. Let's see how many points we can get. On your mark. Get set. Go. for the food rule of the week. All right, our food rule of the week, eat when your body feels hungry and stop eating when your body feels full. All right, I have invented a really fun game that's gonna help us warm up our body and it's called Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Now, here's how the game works. When I say Hidden Dragon, you are going to hide, just pretend, somewhere away from your screen. When I say crouching tiger, you need to be back in front of the screen before I get down to zero. I'm also going to be yelling out lots of other directions for you to follow, so just follow my commands and remember to be safe. Let's do a practice. Ready? Everyone stand up. Crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon. Everyone hide from the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Crouching tiger. Back to the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Tree pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Pick the cherries, pick the cherries. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon. Five, four, three, two, one. Searching. Searching. Ah, I didn't catch anyone that time. Back to the screen. Crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Boat pose. Sit in like a boat. Row the boat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mountain pose. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tiger claws. Rah! Tiger claws. Rah! Rah! Crouching tiger, five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon, five, four, three, two, one. Hide from your screen. I'm looking, I'm searching. Oh, I didn't catch anyone that time. Crouching tiger, back to the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake, shake your body. Shake, shake, shake. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is called knocking on the door of life. Give yourself a nice little knock on the side. Knock on your lungs. Five, four, three, two, one. Rooster standing on one leg. Five, rooster standing on one leg. Four, three, two, one. Crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon, hide from the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I see a foot over there. I see someone hiding behind the curtains. I see someone hiding behind the couch. Gotcha. Back to the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Tree pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Windy tree pose. It's windy. Five, four, three, two, one. Jog in place. Five, four, three, two, one. Mountain pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Crouching tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon. Everyone hide. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, rats. I didn't catch anyone. Back to the screen, Crouching Tiger. Five, four, three, two, one. High plank, everyone get into the high plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder taps, tap your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Mountain pose, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, five, four, three, two, one. Crouching tiger, five, four, three, two, one. Hidden dragon, five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, nice hiding everyone. All right, back to the screen. Crouching tiger, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, lower L. All right, for our mindful minute, I'm gonna teach you something called a rapid renewal energy. I learned this from my good friend, Siri Atma. Now, I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and I want you to think of a person that makes you really happy to be around. And once you have that person in your mind, I want you to put two fingers on your forehead and I want you to tap your forehead gently 10 times as you're thinking about this person you love to be with. Here we go. And once you're finished, open your eyes. All right, very good. Let's try that again. So we're gonna take a deep breath. Close your eyes. This time, I want you to think of a place that you love to be. It could be a fantasy place, or it could be a real place that you've been. I want you to get that place in your mind. Think of that place, and once you've got that place in your mind, put your fingers on your forehead and tap your forehead 10 times. Well done, Lower Elementary. Now you should feel refreshed and ready to go. 
Our brain tattoo of the week, ask friends for advice. If you're looking to make some important decisions or you're having some problems, there's no better place to look than your friends for advice. And remember, sometimes a family member can also be a friend. For this week's journal prompt, I want to invite you to write a letter to a friend or a family member. I actually want you to write it on a piece of paper. You could draw some pictures and then you're gonna get their address. And with the help of a family member or a friend or a teacher, you're gonna learn how to address the envelope. And then you're gonna mail that piece of uh, letter to a friend or a family member. And I can't tell you how happy that person is gonna get to get something in the mail. It's so fun to get mail and they may even write you back. Awesome workout today, lower elementary. And now for the answer to our riddle, what is the most coolest, the most awesomest vegetable out there? Well, it's the radish, of course, because radishes are rad. I'll see you next week for episode 23.